Oh man, that was too long. Oh god. Let's actually go see what's making that horrible racket and stop it if we can. Spoilers, you can't stop it. You will never stop. Well, there's a dungeon. Yeah. And, uh, lily pads? Ugh. Well, if they are, they've gone rotten. Doesn't look good. Well, I mean, you, you leave greens in water. No fairies. That's the same fairy design as the ones from Majora's Mask. Quick, put on that creepy mask. Make them go away. <laughs> no, that'll make them come closer! Oh god! We're gonna play a game of hide-and-seek. Hide-and-seek mixed with the Lost Woods, so good luck! The problem with this Lost Woods is there's no Master Sword at the end of it. Just more fairies. So the gimmick with this, you scroll through a map, it takes you to a different location than anywhere logical. Each direction does take you to a specific place, so you can figure out the layout of this. But it, it takes a bit of trial and error. Yes, it's jumbled up. See, so, like, that place folds in on itself. As if there weren't enough paradoxes in this game. <laughs> nope. Did you miss me yet? I'm still here. Quick, climb down the wall and get that chest. I uh, don't have the arm strength. We gotta wait like 20 years for that. Nope. It's kind of funny. That's the exit. If you if you just want to give up, please quit. And she is kind of right. The third one is a little hard to find. Because basically, you need to go into reverse three times. From the entrance. Go up, down, up. Right, so I usually solve this because some I forget all the time, just by going back and forth on every single map seam until I find something that there's a fairy there. Sometimes this takes me 30 seconds, sometimes it takes me five minutes. I did it quickly enough, I didn't need to do any real editing. Oh, screen flashing again. We were the seizure fairies, come back again. Oh well, what's gonna make it crumble? Oh, the air. Ah, oh, you broke it! <laughs> Mockatree, what the hell did you do? God damn it, McFly. D are you are you okay? Mockatree summons you. Did you see that? How was the rock that was like three yards away from the dungeon a support stone? Load bearing rock. It's engineering, look it up. Is it load-bearing like a scale? It's it's cantilevered. Right, yeah, I'm just shouting out construction terms. <laughs> so you did jump cuts, I do linear wipes. Ah, very Star Wars of you. And also very lazy Vegas preset. Aha. But here is the instrument of the Oracle of Ages. This is how we time travel. Right, each of the Oracle games has a special item that makes you do the thing for the game. This is the item that makes you do the thing for this game. It kind of is chance. The good news is this version of Link is a lot better at playing the harp than the Skyward Sword Link. God, yeah. <laughs> I could not handle another mini game like that. Please swing your Game Boy Color back and forth to play the harp. <laughs> Please fling it at the wall.
There's something a little unspectacular about tune. Of echoes. Tunes tend to echo indoors. And outdoors if you're loud enough. So there are three harp tunes that we learn in the game. All three of them allow us to time travel, but each has its own specific context in which it can be used. All that the Tune of Echoes does is activate those time portals, like the ones we saw in the first two parts. The next two can be used in any location, but the second one can only be used in the past, and the third one will allow us to travel back and forth at will. This is kind of like the mirror from, um, the... Oh, why is the Super Nintendo one name escaping me right now? <laughs> Link to the Past. Yes, that one! The, the mirror. It only sends you in one direction. But not anywhere you want. I just cannot get this itch on my back. <laughs> Boy, that sure was a secret room. Thanks, Impa. Bye. <laughs> See you in another 50 years. By then you'll look like how I remember you. She has nothing to eat, so she's going to turn into Skinny Impa from the later games. Oh, well, she's rad. Acceptable. Hard to imagine that the same character. Yeah. Could you see this Impa in ninja garb? Well, maybe like the samurai Yigi guys from Breath of the Wild. Fair enough. You've made your point. <laughs> I like whenever the Maka Tree calls you, because there's this long jingle and all the flowers, and imagine McFly's just standing there like, Get on with it. Oh god, not again. Please leave me alone. Woman, I told you. Please don't flirt with me. I got work to do. Now let's get the mailman off his ass. gets the clock. Oh my god, I'm late! <laughs> yeah, dude, I robbed a grave for this clock. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, you're cursed. And an alcoholic, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Here's some mail that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is highly illegal. Well, unfortunately, McFly can't read or write, so... Let's just give it to a shit monster. Oh boy, what do we got? Another a ring. ring! Oh boy. Better appraise that shit right away. Here we go, this was somebody's tax forms. <laughs> Meanwhile, Grandma is getting audited by the IRS. Here's a bag of shit. <laughs> Have fun. Well, you know what that earns. Yay! <laughs> no! Yay! <laughs> Did you- oh. You should go back and throw some seeds in the hole. Oh, I should. Yes. Just... you should. <laughs> Torture that man. Horrifically forever. So, one thing I'm learning about the past is, it was horrifically cluttered. Stuff everywhere. You'll also notice, probably not so much in these early areas, but in later areas, the enemies in the past are stronger than the enemies in the future. So it's like they devolved. Yeah, or you could look at it as things were a lot more wild back then. Ambi is the bomb, right? <laughs> Ambi blew up my house. Caraway seeds. That place doesn't look any better. <laughs> yeah. You could tell we're supposed to bomb that open. Feels like that's what should cause it to collapse. It's because you bombed it in the past that it collapsed. It was all your fault. Well, I know, but I'm, I'm talking about the order of operations here. 
Try not to think too much about the order of things in this game. At least the woods don't have that awful music in this, uh, in the past. <laughs> the fairies haven't taken over yet. They've been gentrified. Terrible beasts! Even though I have armor, a shield, and a sword, I can't take care of a couple moblins. Well, let's shoot arrows. By the way, you should fear me for some reason. <laughs> I'm a guard, and I'm important. Yeah, a little obnoxious that in some of these block-pushing puzzles, you can only push them once. Yeah, they were like that in Link's Awakening, too, so... You're used to that. You're good. Gotta get it right the first time. I do like that in the past the chests look different. Not sure what they look like. The chest makers got better at making chests later on. In the past they just looked like paper. They haven't discovered iron banding yet. It's alright guard, I'm armed. Watch out, I've got a rock! I'm gonna wind a piece of string around it. Holy shit, that guy's lifting a rock. Kind of a telegraphed secret there. A couple of screens earlier, there was a staircase that I didn't go down to. That's because it leads you down to the lower area in here. But you can't get up to this heart piece from there, so I just ignored it. Smart. Ah, he totally... <laughs> so was he. Sniper Moblin. We've got bows and arrows, but you don't. And the business scrubs return. This is the game's second, like, uh, you should probably buy a shield if you haven't already. In a way that they're desperate. Please. Because there are three business scrubs. Each one charges 20 less rupees for the shield. Please buy a shield. We're heading towards that tree with the secret seeds, and there's a scrub art by it selling a shield for 10 rupees. So if you bought the shield earlier for 30, you're an idiot. <laughs> like me. And I really am an idiot because I haven't used it at all. Yeah, you don't really need the shield for quite a while. Not till the next dungeon at the earliest. Not like an Ocarina of Time where they won't even let you leave the first area. Yeah. That guy was speedy. Mystery seeds. They kind of do random things. So this is the game's magic powder. Yes. It's a bunch of different functions, including making owl statues fly. They give you hints. And then they fall back asleep. So in Link's Awakening, you had the owl statues you had to give a beak to. Here you just sprinkle some seeds on it. Just make them sneeze. They do a couple of different things when you drop them on enemies. They might catch them on fire, or they might make a tornado that launches them into the sky. Which is rad as hell, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these guys are always annoying. Oh. There are times where I'm okay with dealing with them, but there are some times where it's just like, God damn it, these guys again. There he is. I stole this shield. I'm only selling it for 10 rupees. And you went all this way for nothing. Hang on, maybe there's something. One rupee! Just six rupees. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna guess that Queen Ambie wanted those seeds, and I would be correct. 
Why should we give him to this guy? He's afraid of some moblins. I think we could take him. No, that was the other guy. This guy braved them. Of course, he's got red armor, so he's probably important. He's like a captain. So Ambi's Palace is one of the few places in the past that's actually not desaturated. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. With this nice regal music. You can probably imagine this music being played on, like, panpipes. Right. There's a guy behind the bushes right now. <laughs> So you give her mystery seeds, which you can collect an infinite number of. So, pretty fair trade. Bring it here. He trips, he blows up the whole palace. <laughs> Your McFly is down. Pants fall down. Blows up the palace. <laughs> There's just no escaping. This palace is going to go down. He says to the queen. <laughs> Such a nice boy. I'll kill him last. Ralph jumps out from behind the tree. He was the one playing the panpipes. Nehru, I've gotten so much better! I can support you when you sing now! Have you ever smelled ground cloves on their own? Potent. Oh yeah. So there's a reason she wants these seeds, and you don't discover it till the end of the game, by the way. They do take all of your seeds, so if you want more, you need to go all the way back to that tree. Also, they start randomly showing up in the loot that drops, too, occasionally. Yeah. There's something so slightly tragic about Varon sort of taking over Queen Ambie's ambition to build this tower so that her boyfriend can come back home safely and instead using it for her own evil ends. And in a way, like, she's brainwashed Queen Ambie, so she doesn't even realize that's what's happening. She's the Grima worm tongue of this story. And then I blind myself with the sun, and everything will be dark! Ha <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, wait. So, Queen Amby mentioned her boyfriend who's off to sea. That's actually something that's not gonna come up until you play a linked game of Seasons. So, enjoy that. 30 years from now. <laughs> Man, if I'm still LPing 30 years from now, either something's gone right or wrong. Oh, I'm, yes, get it! I want that potion! I kind of need that potion! She's gonna beeline right for it, too. I don't think she does. Really? I think she goes for something else. That's wild. Every time I bump into her, she goes for the cool... Oh, yeah, she's going for Oh, yeah, she was. She usually goes for the best loot. A heart. Oh no. I need that. You can have your five rupees. I don't like the way this game colored the rupees. It really throws me off. The red ones are five. The blue ones are 20? I don't get it. Should have flipped them. Oh, and blue ones are 30. I'm sorry. And the big blue ones are 100. Still want my husband back.
the dungeon falls apart again. God damn it. Damn it. Gotta go 400 more years back. I like how nondescriptive the title is. Wing Dungeon. You're out of seeds. Can't talk to the owls. Gotta go back and get them. And that's why the dungeon isn't in this part.